the series. We go to Pivotal Game 5, and away we go. Joe introduced everybody, so I don't even have to do that. You all know who's here. D-Train in a minute in the train station. But the traditional eight-pitcher shutout, Alex, just like we all planned it. You know, a baseball gem, but the Dodgers needed it. Isn't that how they wrote it up? But look, the, the, the Dodgers starters, ERA is 10. The bullpen is about 2.3. So there's your story. It's not the way you wrote it up, but you have a game five back in Los Angeles. Absolutely. And let's not forget, we saw the Dodgers offense shine tonight, which is something that have been missing the past couple of days. I mean, we all know that the, 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 the San Diego's Padres have this great pitching staff, but if Mookie doesn't come through, if Shohei doesn't come through, it's not going to happen there. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it when the, when the game, or last night when we found out, it was Dylan Cease versus TBD. Mm. Well, TBD is the MVP of the game. I mean, they had eight <laughs> pitchers went out nice, there. Nice, Cap. And, thank you. They had eight pitchers went out and shut down a hot San Diego, San Diego Padres team. So, game five, here we go. This is what you want to watch. This, you, if, if anyone told us before the series started, it would come down to a fifth game, we'd all agree to it because mm. these teams are so evenly matched. Now the fun begins on Friday. But Kevin, Preach! is exactly what you forecasted and what you said was most important for the Dodgers is to play ahead, especially with TBD, yep. right? And they did that today. <laughs> Mookie Betts, three balls over the walls in three consecutive first innings. Two of them are actually home runs. Oh, I like that. Uh, I see what you did there. Yeah, and look, and they did it without Freddie Freeman, right? So you, you take him out, you put Max Muncy at first. He hadn't played there in, in a couple of years, and he did just fine. He's standing by now with our Ken Rosenthal. Max, you come into this game tonight and you're on the verge of losing the division series for the third straight year. You're going back to Dodger Stadium for game five. How would you describe your emotions just throughout the day and right now? We were pretty loose. You know, it was uh, last night was, uh, you know, a, a tough one to lose. We felt like we battled back, but, you know, we, we came in today. Everybody was light and loose in the, in the clubhouse. We had a bunch of guys uh, playing mini golf in there. You know, we just... You, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't have known it was an elimination game for us, and, you know, uh, that definitely translated that onto the field for us. You had had a tough time in this series. You doubled and scored in the third. I know you spoke with Dave Roberts today. What was his message to you? He just wanted to check in on how the guys were doing. Um, it, it wasn't really even about me. It's just, you know, what, what, what's the vibe in the clubhouse? What, how, how, the, how the guys feel about everything? And I told them, hey, we got this. Um, there's, not, there's not one person in there that doesn't believe in us. And, um, you know, we've got a re very resilient group. We've had to go through a lot this year. And, uh, you know, the show, the show tonight, the guys went out there. And when, when their number was called, they went out there and uh, did their job. What do you expect Friday night at Dodger Stadium? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Max, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you. Ken, Max, appreciate that. You know, Derek, don't you think, look, obviously, they saved their, however they did it, they saved their season. You go to a game five, that, that's the most important thing. But wasn't it nice to see the Dodgers show you a little something? They had lost eight of their last nine playoff games going the last couple of years, right? So they had been backs against the wall and just kind of went home. So wasn't it nice to see them respond tonight like they are the best team in baseball? Because they are. Yeah, it really was. You know, they never allowed the San Diego Padre, Padres fan base to get into it. Mm. You know, they silenced them right out of the gates. And this is, you know, this this fan base in San Diego, what they didn't let any Dodger fans there, remember? Then you say no Dodgers, tonight. no Dodger fans allowed. But um, what a great job. They showed some fight. Look, this team has been in the postseason for I don't even know how many years in a row. So they've been in these positions before. I know it hasn't worked out in the past, but I tell you what, they have a chance to flip the script. And change the narrative in Game 5 in Dodger Stadium. I got to talk about my boy, Mookie Bet. He's one of the thunder in this lineup. He might be one of the most important players in this organization, to be honest with you, throughout the year. I would like to show you guys some clips right here. Nice. Oh, about right. my man showing some love at the gate. Bam! That's my dog. That's the guy I know. When he's having fun out there, his ability take over. He, he, he takes things to the next level. This is the guy that when he get going, the Dodgers get going. And with the help of Otani, I mean, that's why they are where they are. Poppy, when you said I'm going to go to the video, I thought you were going to go back to Tom and Jerry, but you didn't. <laughs> but in all that's seriousness, for later, buddy. KB, one of the guys that I got to give some flowers to is Doc Ro uh, Dave Roberts mm. because uh, here's a guy that's always a steady hand. He's consistent. You know, L.A. media, like New York media, they go up, they go down. Injuries, no injuries. But Dave Roberts is a consistent, steady hand. He's done a great job. Game five is set up beautifully. WrestleMania well, five. Uh, how about, well, yeah, to your point, what did Max Muncy say? We were relaxed. 
right. right? So that goes to the manager, I would think, keeping them all relaxed, right? Let's talk about the pitching, though. Let's go to the train station. Let's welcome <laughs> in <laughs> D-Train. <laughs> Load up that train station. Oh, look at that. Look at the trains coming in. It's all beautiful. How good is that? And the graffiti got cleaned up, D. Nice job. You got the crew in there. <laughs> My bad, dog. I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate you guys. But the bottom line is, this was a gritty win for the Dodger rotation, excuse me, the bullpen, and really just the whole staff in general. They knew they needed this ball game, and they really did a good job of taking this whole crowd and this hot San Diego lineup out of the ball game. I felt like they followed the mid all night long. They executed, especially to Fernando Tatis and Machado. I thought the way they attacked him with the fastball and spun the slider and stayed ahead of him and kept them off balance really was the key. And once they scored runs, Dave Roberts was able to deploy whoever he wanted to to be able to win the matchup. And the bottom line is, hey, guys, if you guys don't win the matchup, we go to Cancun. So they're going to hold off on that trip just a couple more days. But they forced the Game 5 in their own house. It's going to be rocking and rolling in Dodger Stadium for Game 5. Hey, behind you, D-Train. Sorry, man. Look at the wall, man. I, I, you know what? I'm so sick of you, man. Like, I, we just cleaned it up, Poppy. Now I got to go call the city and get more money. You know what? I'm going to take that watch from you and pay for that, too, Cat Daddy. I see what you got on your wrist. la casa. You know what? I'm sick of you and your perm. Hey. And your perm. Hey. Don't be hating on Billy D. Williams like that. Come on now. <laughs> Train that's messed oh, up. Oh man, the, the oh, D train wow. has left the, the uh. station. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh my goodness. You know something to say? <laughs> yeah, I did. I forgot. Uh, but no. After just back to what David was talking about, um, Mookie Betts. Just think about it. Yesterday, before Game Three, everyone was talking about Mookie Betts struggling.